What's going on everyone? So in today's video what I want to do is just address what I believe to be the best class setup in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombies. But before we get into this video what I want to say quickly is if you're new to this channel and this is your first time checking this out feel free to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell because I post Black Ops 4 videos, see if these videos and pretty much any video that you guys find entertaining. And if you're a returning subscriber don't worry I'm gonna have a see if these video coming up next and it's actually not too far away I'm working on it now. So anyway before we get too far into the video I'm just gonna put up my stats now. So at the time of recording this I've played it for just over 15 hours my highest round is round 61 and I've been playing Call of Duty Zombies since way back in the World at War days so anyway I'm gonna split this video up into two parts so essentially I'm gonna talk about the two different setups you can use for the two different stories now that being said if you don't want to use two different stories feel free to just use any of the singular setups I've got for both because they both do me extremely well so to start this off we're gonna talk about the OG crew so essentially that's Rick Toffin to KO Nikolai and Dempsey now my essential setup is on the screen so if you don't want to listen to me talk you can actually just mute this video and look at the screen you'll still get the same same result. So what I use is fairly simple. I use Electric Burst, which is essentially Electric Cherry, PhD Slider, which is a slowed down, longer cooldown version of PhD Flopper, Dying Wish, which essentially when you're about to die it shoots off this burst and saves you, and Stamina Up, which has been in the last few Call of Duties that hasn't changed at all. Now there's actually a reason why I run these in these specific orders. So the reason I have Electric Burst first, which is actually different from a lot of other people, is because I find myself reloading a lot in the early rounds, and especially when playing Blood of the Dead or Classified, which is also 5, I find it a lot easier, especially on Blood of the Dead when you're running up that little walkway, to use Electric Cherry just for that extra backup. Now the reason I run PhD Slider next is because that is essentially your fullback. So if you find yourself trapped, all you need to do is slide and you can get yourself out of that situation pretty easily. Now Stamina Up and Dying Wish can actually be in any order. I just like to run it in this order because I think that Dying Wish actually looks good in this perk machine. But there's no real reason to my method why I actually do that. Now you may be surprised as to why I don't have Quick Revive on there is because that doesn't really do anything unless you're playing with other people. And of course I'm not running Jug because unfortunately Jug is not actually in this game. Now my Wonder Weapon is always the Ragnaroks because they are the most overpowered things in my opinion. Following that it's a claymore, if not I'd use the sentry gun, but you unlock the sentry gun a lot later than you do the claymore, so for the sake of this video I've got the claymore down. And I like to run the strife because that is the most powerful pistol in the long run. So moving on to the Chaos Story. Now the Chaos Story is actually 9 and Voyage of Despair. Now I do keep the same fundamentals in this one as I did my previous setup, with Electric Burst still being my number one perk, but my little add-on allows Electric Burst to be a little bit cheaper. That's what you can see in the bottom left hand side of the screen. Now my Gobble Gums are extremely different in this. Now Gobble Gums are pretty much your own choice, there's no real perfect choice for Gobble Gums, it's just whatever you enjoy. Now following that I still have Dying Wish, Stamina Up and PhD Slider just in different orders. This doesn't really matter too much I don't see because they're all pretty easy to get and the price does not really change for any of them. And my start gun is very different for this one. I actually use a compact submachine gun because I find that to be useful up until round 7 or 8. I can get around pretty well without getting another gun except for my spawning sub. My grenade, I use the Wraith Fire. And what that essentially does is burns all the zombies around you. It's really great for reviving people. And you can't get hurt by this flame, which makes it even better. And my weapon is actually the Viper and Dragons. Now, this is actually a sword and a shotgun. This is extremely powerful for all the mini bosses and just clearing the waves. So keeping this video as short as I can so I don't really waste your time, that's pretty much been the video. So if you've enjoyed and this video has helped you at all, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. I'd also love to hear what you guys use, so throw that down in the comments. I'm always open to new suggestions and new ideas. Do keep in mind this is completely my opinion and it is what has worked best for me. Anyway, with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and I'll see you all in the next video.